How you doing my brothers and sisters? This is your brother Diogenes Coming to you once again With the truth The word of God um, Many many Christians are confused My brothers and sisters They are confused um, These churches are taking people to hell Hell And Jesus said that the gate that leads to everlasting destruction is wide. And the gate that leads to eternal life is a narrow. Why did he say that? Why would why would our Lord say that if, if, if it wasn't true? With so many churches in the world, so many Christian churches in the world, why are so many people going to hell? I want to tell you right now, if you did not know, if they're not teaching you this in church, Jesus is the word of God. Jesus is the word of God. Meaning Jesus is the Bible. He is the Bible. All right, and I, I'm the first one to agree. There are things in the Bible that only His Spirit can teach you. There are things in the Bible. Well, let me uh, let me uh, rephrase that. There are some things in the Bible. Some things in the Bible can't teach you everything. All right, so you need His Holy Spirit sometimes. To guide you in, in certain things in life. But his word is, is true. His word is, his word is trustworthy. All right. And it, it applies for almost everything in your life. All right. Second Timothy 3.16 says the word is good for teaching and rebuking. And to know the difference between good and bad. All right. And another thing I want to tell you, Jesus is the law. His word is the law. And Jesus is the law. Alright? If you don't love the law, you don't love the word. Therefore, you don't love Jesus. That's the bottom line. Alright? Psalms 119.97 it says, how I, oh, how I love your law. All day long, it is my meditation. Do you love his law? Because if you love his law, you love the word. And if you love the word, you love Jesus. Psalms nineteen sixteen. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Psalms 1, 2, his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law. He meditates day and night. Do you love his law? Do you teach his law? Do you teach, do, do, do you teach others his law? Do you teach others his word? All right. You should be a student of the Bible. If you don't read your Bible regularly, you shouldn't even be teaching. Because you know not his law. You only do you only do what other people you hear other people say. You just repeat what people say. You don't you're not a student of his word, of his law, of the Bible. Love the law of the Lord. Like Psalm says, Psalms one nineteen ninety seven, it says, "Love your law, love His law, teach others to love His law and to follow His law." That's why I left the church because they're not teaching God's laws, they're not teaching obedience to His laws, they're teaching their own doctrines. Jesus loved His prophets. That's why Moses and Elijah are in heaven with Him. And Jesus taught his 
the words from his prophets because Jesus instructed his prophets to teach what he said. The words of the prophets are the words of Jesus, my brothers and sisters. If you love the laws of the Lord and you practice them and you teach others to practice them, like Jesus said in the gospel, all right, you're doing his will. If you're not teaching the laws of God and you're not teaching his decrees and commandments, then you're doing your own thing. 